On February 1, 2013, Iran unveiled the F-313 Quahar to the world. This event was significant. It marked Iran's entry into a select group of nations claiming to have developed a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad presided over the event. He hailed the Qahar as a symbol of Iranian ingenuity and military prowess. Defense Minister Brigadier General Ahmad Vahidi declared it a testament to Iran's self-reliance in defense technology. However, the international community met the unveiling with widespread skepticism. Aviation experts and analysts quickly pointed out several design flaws. The aircraft appeared unusually small for a fighter jet. The cockpit was cramped and lacked standard instrumentation. The air intakes were considered too small for an engine powerful enough to provide adequate thrust. Furthermore, the overall construction seemed rudimentary. Rivets and bolts typically concealed in stealth aircraft were clearly visible. The engine nozzle also raised eyebrows. It lacked the typical features of a high-performance jet engine. Its design seemed simplistic and inconsistent with the claimed capabilities. The Kahar's stealth capabilities were also called into question. The unusual shape and the visible construction techniques cast doubt on its ability to evade radar detection. Despite the skepticism, Iran remained steadfast in its claims. They maintained that the F-313 was a fully operational fifth-generation fighter. This claim was met with further skepticism. In the years following the F-313's unveiling, Iran remained relatively silent about its development. A revised prototype emerged in 2017, showcasing some improvements. The cockpit appeared more realistic. It featured dual exhaust nozzles and a FLIR turret. However, design concerns persisted regarding the small air intakes and wings. Speculation grew that the F-313 project might be repurposed. Some experts suggested that the airframe's design, while unsuitable for a manned fighter, might be more appropriate for an unmanned aerial vehicle. This speculation proved accurate. On February 6, 2025, Iran revealed the F-313's transformation into the JS-313, a carrier-based naval drone. This unveiling coincided with the commissioning of Iran's new drone carrier, the. This vessel, a converted container ship, is approximately 240 meters long. It has a displacement exceeding 40,000 tons. The features a 180-meter runway and a ski jump. It is designed to carry a variety of UAVs, including the JAS-313. The JS-313 represents a significant departure from the original F-313 concept. It is a scaled-down version of the manned prototype. The drone carrier showcased both 60% and 25% scale models. While the F-313 was envisioned as a twin-engine fighter, the JS-313 utilizes a single turbojet engine. This engine is scaled to the airframe, likely a variant of the Jahesh 700 turbofan engine. Observers witnessed one of the smaller JS-313 UAVs taking off from the during the commissioning ceremony. This demonstration highlighted the drone's carrier launch capabilities. However, Iran remains tight-lipped about the JS-313's full specifications. Details regarding its range, speed, payload capacity and armament remain undisclosed. Despite the lack of official information, analysts speculate that the JS-313 is likely intended for reconnaissance and surveillance missions. Its small size and potential stealth features could make it valuable for intelligence gathering in the Persian Gulf. The drone's armament, if any, is likely limited to lightweight precision-guided munitions. The transformation of the F-313 into the JAS-313 naval drone has significant strategic implications for Iran. It underscores Iran's commitment to developing its drone program. Drones offer a cost-effective way to project power and gather intelligence. The deployment of the JS-313 aboard the enhances Iran's surveillance capabilities in the Persian Gulf. This development is likely to raise concerns among Iran's regional rivals, particularly Saudi Arabia and Israel. Iran claims that the JAS-313, derived from the F-313, makes it the fourth country to produce a fifth-generation stealth aircraft. While this claim is debatable, it highlights Iran's determination to be perceived as a technological and military power in the region. The JAS-313, even if its capabilities are not fully known, serves as a propaganda tool for the Iranian government. It reinforces the image of Iran as a nation capable of developing advanced military technology. 
This perception can have a deterrent effect, potentially discouraging adversaries from engaging in direct conflict. The development and deployment of the JS-313 represent a calculated move by Iran to enhance its military posture and influence in the region.